like to talk about um different classes that we have uh for french classes it's uh two grades grades two to four and five to six so uh first let's start talking about grade two to four uh for grade two to four uh we're gonna work on the method capture it's a great method because um it'll uh you know it's a combination of everything right it will cover cover the four skills writing reading speaking and uh listening of course uh it's a great method uh working on like different uh situation and grammars focusing on vocabulary vocabularies and grammars and uh it'll have interaction for students they can ask each other questions about uh different contents day-to-day -day life mm, and it'll cover a uh, different um of course uh conjugation of the verbs in french the verb conjugation is going to be a little bit different than english we have different categories of verbs and we need to memorize them so it's a great uh, book and method uh, because we have lots of practicing for verb conjugation and uh, it's a serious but a fun method to learn, to learn with actually. Uh, so if you're concerned about the grade, I mean, how to choose which book is proper for your kids, uh, we have already sent you to, uh, two different uh, type of mock tests which is uh, according to the international DLF exam. So for grade two to four, you can go um, to the to the test that we have already sent for you. Uh, it'll come with the transcripts and the points as well as the answer. So uh, your kid just need to do the exam and then check with the answers and then calculate the points, right? Um, it is for grade two to four, and we have also sent uh, the exam for grade five to six. So let's go through the contents for uh, the book Capture. Uh, we're going to cover the quatre, the four books here. The contents are like different. This is a really good method because um, it'll talk about like different units and different contents. Uh, it'll range from different part of the house along with the verb conjugating like uh for example what do we have in different type of uh in different part of the house what if what do we put in uh, for example kitchen right and what verbs do we use talking about house and like different part of the house prepositions uh for example how to say for example there's a table in the kitchen on the table, under. Uh, the conjugation of the first uh, group verbs, as I said, uh, the verbs got a little bit tricky in French because it's totally different with English. And we have like, like different conjugation for every pronoun. So this is a great method because it uh, really insists on the verbs conjugation and we're gonna have repeat them over and over again in, uh, in order uh, to like get used to use this conjugate, uh, conjugation, because sometimes it takes times to get used to this type of conjugate conjugations because it is not like English. But the good part is that we have the same um, alphabets. And, and so it's not that much hard for students to uh, start learning French because it is almost like English. And then we're going to cover irregular verbs and their conjugation as well, because um, along with the um, like regular verbs that we have three type of different regular verbs, we have irregular verbs, which are very important. Um, and we're going to work on the, their conjugation as well in this box. We're going to talk about emotions and the expressions using the verb avoir. Avoir is one of the most important verbs in French, which means to have and it is irregular. So we're gonna have different uh, type of examples. For example, how do you say you're happy, you're sad, uh, how to talk about your emotions uh, and how to use the expressions and how to make a full sentence in order to uh, be able to communicate and have a conversation. And then we're gonna cover the question words, like all the question words for making questions what, which, who, 
and then weather, dates, seasons. And then uh, we're going to cover sports, different type of questions, reflexive verbs. Again, it's another type of verb that we're using in French, and it is, of course, different with English. Uh, but we'll talk about clothing, appearance, vocabulary, um, about sickness and pain in body part. For instance, if you want to go to doctor, if you want to go to your dentist, how do we say, I have headache, headache, I have, like, for example, sore throat, right? And what verb to use? And also, um, along with the present tense, which is like the basic uh, conjugation of learning a new language, we're going to cover close future grammar as well. How to talk about future, what you'll do, for example, uh, next week, next year, etc. right? So uh, this is for uh, French immersion grade two to four. Uh, we're going to cover... Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, grade five to six as well. But before that, I would like to mention to uh, three uh, very important points of this classes and this lessons. And uh, what is the purpose of this classes? So uh, first and foremost, I would like to say that all these methods and books that we're using are according to international DLF formula. Uh, that being said, students are going to be able to take the exam um, after passing their book accordingly, according to their levels. And there is no expiration date. That's a good part, right? <laughs> because uh, students can uh, be able to uh, use the certification wherever and whenever they need it. And of course, it's it'll... Um, build up their confidence because uh, they have a certification in their hand uh, showing their comp their skills and ability in this uh, part, right? Uh, the second important part is that um, I want to mention uh, the student's future. Uh, of course, I'm not going to talk about their future career or uh, profession, but I'm going to talk about high schoolers uh, who are really swamped with all this lessons and assignments and homework so they are uh they have to pass ap and ib in order to get into a good college or university and you can imagine how hard it can be for them to just start le learning a new lesson or skill and uh the worst part is that they have to pass a test and have a good mark because it'll affect the choice of their university or of college in comparison with the students that uh, they have already started learning um, these lessons, say during their primary or middle school, it'll be really easier uh, to handle the exam. And of course, they're gonna have a better mark. So it, 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 it is really important. And the last but not least, uh, I'm gonna talk about uh, the lesson themselves. So, these lessons are not limited to um, words, theories, and practices, but uh, they also give students visions about like other aspects of life, like culture, art, and music itself, because uh, each unit uh, is designed delicately along with the vocabularies, words, grammar, and of course, the four skills that we're gonna cover. It is each unit is about one subject, Say, for example, the first unit is about food. What are the name of the food, the verbs that we are using, the verb conjugations, right? But also, what are, for example, the foods that are popular in French communities? Mm -hmm. Or, for example, next unit is about transportation, about music instruments, about art, about like day-to-day -day life. So it'll be a very good combination of... Um, different information along with the uh, language lesson itself that will build up uh, the student's confidence and information, of course, and it, it will be really important for students to have the skills because you know that we are living in a bilingual uh, country, right? It's Canada and French is an official language. So along, uh, I, I wanna put like all the benefits of the French, knowing French language and French IB or AP, um, exam, which is 
a must for students, according to the major to enter to university or college. Uh, but we, we need it because it's a bilingual uh, country, right? Now let's go through the second poster, which is about French grammar and writing. It is for um, students. Great, five to six. So for grade five to six, we'll, we will use uh, the method à la lune. Uh, it's a great, fun, and um, very uh, informative method. Uh, again, this book is according the DLF formula, international DLF. So after passing the book, students are going to be able to take the DLF exam. And as I said, there is no expiration date and they can have it uh, whenever they need it, right? So what do we cover in this book? First of all, this book is um, built around a French speaking teenager. So it's a great method and it's a fun method for teenagers and like older kids. Uh, to get along, uh, like to interact, to learn more about different um, uh, subjects in French, along with, of course, the vocabularies and the four skills that we will it will be built up during um, the conversations, the practices that we'll have in the class. So what are the contents of A La Lune? So we're going to cover food, taste, and senses. Uh, it is not about uh, just vocabularies. It'll be like making full sentences, conversation about food, what you like, your dislikes. And also, of course, the information about like French culture, what food are popular, uh, according to this teenager, the, the character that we're using in the book. And we have lots of... Um, writing and reading practices. Sometimes students uh, need to team up. Need Sometimes they have to ask questions and try to interact in the class. Uh, we're gonna have uh, expressions of the taste, like, um, because in French, like other languages, we have some expressions that we usually use. And also uh, we're gonna talk about different like flavors and tastes. So we're going to cover all the vocabularies, grammar, and everything about food, right? Then we're going to talk about uh, pronouns and party articles. This part is really important in whatever uh, exam that you're going to have, no matter if it's for like in your high school, for getting in a college AB, uh, AP or IB exam, no matter it's for DELF, international exam, It'll be really important, the articles, and this book is a great method to get along with the articles because in French, uh, all the words have articles. Always they come with feminine or masculine articles. So little by little, it sometimes it takes time for the students to get the whole idea of the articles. So this is a great book uh, because, um, and this method, methods almost in each unit, we're going to talk and we're going to use like the different articles and part of articles. We're going to um, talk about irregular verbs, third group. As I already mentioned, we have three uh, type of verbs and conjugation in French and they all are somewhat different. Um, so little by little, we start from the first group of the verbs in present and then second and third. Uh, here we, we will talk about irregular verbs of the third group and how to conjugate and how to uh, use them in a conversation and for communications. Uh, the next title is job and studies, uh, like different jobs. What do we do? What do we call them? Um, the, the verbs and the vocabularies of the job as, as well. And all the jobs in French have are feminine or masculine. I mean, the word by itself. So we we're going to talk about them as well. After uh, present tense and the verb conjugation, uh, we're going to uh, talk about future time grammar, how to conjugate verbs and how to um, make uh, like full sentences using future time grammar. Of course, we're, we're going to talk about future. And um, what is the conjugation of the verbs for future? We have two type of future. So we're going to talk about both. 
two verbs, savoir and connaître, which means to know, but they are different. So we will talk about the difference between these two and when to use each one of them uh, along with the uh, conjugations. Uh, vacations, climate, seasons. Uh, what do we do on vacation, vacations? Uh, how do we talk about the weather or ask about the weather? And we usually make full conversations. We try, uh, we ask students to like make a conversation with each other. Somebody ask, somebody answer, and then uh, just we're going to do it the other way around. So the students are going to be first confident to make like full, full conversations to be able to communicate with a French speaking uh, native and also to know how to start a conversation or how to, for example, ask questions if they need to. And then we're going to cover past time grammar part one as well. Uh, so it will be a great combination. I mean, uh, after this four books, uh, three books, sorry, um, we're going to cover like present, future, and pastime. It means the basic of the regular conversation. Um, after that, I mean, uh, the students are going to be able to make conversations easily. They talk about the, their routine. They can ask about whatever. They can ask using question words, whatever, like phrases they want to talk about. Um so it'll be a good combination and a very good base of uh, French knowing because usually when you know the present, future, and past time uh, conjugating, uh, you're going to be able to make conversations and communicate. And then we're going to talk about the place of adjectives. We have different adjectives and where do we use them uh, and when do we use them. And of course, again, if they're feminine, if they're masculine, what are the difference between these two and how uh, we can know their differences. And finally, we're gonna talk about the prepositions of the places. So prepositions are always important because um, we're gonna use them in um, almost all the phrases that we make. So, and of course we're gonna have different prepositions and we're gonna work on them. Uh, the good part about this methods Again, in capsule, the last methods, we have this uh, exams as well. At the end, when we finish the book, we're going to have mock tests. So because uh, students usually want to uh, get DELF or uh, DELF cream, the DELF junior exam. So at the end of the each book, we're going to have a mock test of DELF because it, it is like a good combination of all the verbs, vocabularies, and all the four skills that we've learned. Uh, we're going to ask the students to do the mock test. Maybe some parts, this, we usually do the speaking part in the class, and then we'll send them, for example, the writing or reading part at home, and they correct it. Then we're going to uh, like work on the problems or some grammars that they might be like tricky, uh, we're going to have, a we're going to sum up all like the grammars and uh, the the tricky part in the grammar. And then if the students uh, want to, they can uh, take the DELF test. It is usually beneficial because there's, as I said, there's no expiration date. So this is the whole idea of these two books, uh, Capture and A la Lune for different grades. Uh, uh, we have already sent you like two exams. You're welcome to take the exams. And if you have any questions, you can just uh, go through at the last pages of the link. Uh, it is It comes with all the transcripts and all the answers. Um, and finally, you can get the mark and you can get back to the school and uh, you're going to get which class is proper for your uh, kid. So if you have any questions or concerns, I'll be happy to uh, answer you. Any questions? Uh, yes, please. Uh, Groshan, yes, please. Do you have any like work for grade seven students? Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, for now, uh, 
for now, uh, what I chose to like uh, present here is grade two to four and five to six. But we have like books and methods for grade seven to eight, nine to 10. But uh, for the classes, for the group classes, you're supposed to talk to the school uh, and see the schedule when, are, when they're going to have like the class for grade seven to eight. But for grade seven to eight, we're going to use another method for teenagers. And it'll co cover all the like grammar and the vocabulary that I already uh, talked about. So you can just ask the school about the schedule for the classes of seven to eight, but we do have it. Okay. Good. Any other questions? Uh, hi, this is Kabir's father. So oh. maybe, maybe uh, I joined the conversation in between. Maybe you have answered it already. So I'm sorry for that. But uh, are you guys going to give any uh, reading content also? I mean, uh, which which we can do post, post the class? Oh, yes, of course, of course. So uh, do you mean during the classes or before the class just to get to know the level of, of Kabir? It means if you're talking about his French level, I have already sent the reading part to you. But if you mean as, as a homework during class, yes, we're going to send like readings. We're going to do in the class some reading part along with the questions that we will answer in the class. We read the reading and we'll answer it. And we also read... Uh, we also send like um, assignments and homework as the reading plus the questions. So the students will read the reading and then answer the questions and we'll do, we'll go through them again in the class. But if you mean for the pronunciations, uh, we always, we are it, through the class, we always work on the pronunciation and reading phrases and how to use, for example, verbs and vocabulary. No, no, I was asking in the sense, so yeah, homework, uh, I understand, but what I'm saying is to be covered in the next session, are you guys going to give some content which he should be preparing well in advance uh, before he comes for the next session? Uh, next class. Oh, you mean the class? Uh, no, there is there is no reading that uh, he need to prepare. If you mean the, if you mean like the book, we can you can you can have the book itself. For example, if Kevin wants to be prepared before the class, uh -huh. or take a look at the lessons, he's welcome to. But uh, for preparing just for the next class, no, there is no reading. Okay. There's a mock test that I have already sent to you. If okay. He can do it. Okay, sure. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, no worries. I hope you got your answer. Um, yeah. yeah, great. So, any other questions here? No questions? <laughs> okay, great. It was great to, to have you all here. Uh, and I'm hoping that I uh, will see you in the classes. Um, if you have any other question or concerns, you're welcome to email us. I will send you back. I will answer, reply, and send um, the res response back to you. And uh, yeah, that's it for now. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. No worries. Thank you for being here and have a good evening. Okay, yeah, you too. Bye, everyone. Bye.